Hey guys, okay, so I'm back for um, part two. It's uh, March 27th, 2023. I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man and died for us on the cross and he rose on the third day. Um, also ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people. Okay, so let me um, go ahead and finish the rest of the message, okay? So we have um, Deuteronomy 3.5. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many rural towns. Leviticus 3 7. If he offers a lamb as his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. Philippians 1 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Job 18 9. The net takes him by the heel, and a snare lays hold of him. Job 14, 5, since his days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limits so that he cannot pass. Genesis eleven three. then they said to one another, come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick, brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar. Okay, and then here's another message. My child, I'm coming. Lights will be everywhere in the sky. It will light up like 4th of July. The northern lights will be colorful, emerald green. Wait for my coming. The north lit up and broken off, map severed. Darkness falls, trumpets sound. Obama will rise and desolation will start. Time is short, the ninth hour is coming soon. Look at the clock, does it tell time? Does it ring true? Look at the stars, the constellation is upside down. Virgo, moon at her feet, Pisces, Leo, trumpets, my church redeemed, my hour is here, keep watch, listen to my prophets, they speak truth, Israel's moon, Israel's hour, the dawn is breaking, crash into Aries, look up, I love you my children, believe in me, trust in me, and I will show you your path and guide, leading your every step. Faith will save you. Shalom. I am your Prince of Peace. Let me save you. Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and Mordecai had faith. Abraham, Elijah, Joseph trusted me. Will you have faith? Will you trust in me? Faith, that's all you need. Let me save you. Worship me. Don't bow down to other gods. Then he gave me Revelation 15, 6. And, and out of the temple came the seven angels having the seven plagues clothed in pure bright linen and having their chests girded with golden bands. Colossians 1, 11. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. Samuel, 1 Samuel 2, 5. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread and the hungry have ceased to hunger. Even the barren has born seven, and she who has many children has become feeble. Ezra 4.11 This is a copy of the letter that they sent him to King Artaxerxes, Artaxerxes from your servants, the men of the region beyond the river, and so forth. Philippians 3.9 And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Malachi 2.8, but you have departed from the way. You have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. Here is another message. Tip of the iceberg, snow falls. April showers brings May flowers. The flowers will bloom. The tree branches of the almond tree will wither. The one world system will unite the whole world. One currency, a worldwide digital system. The mark will be a scan card in the palm of your hand. On your forehead, a UV light is a machine set up through electronics, charging your cells for DNA mechanisms through gene manipulation. The food will manipulate your DNA, all set up by the elite to control the population. It's coming. Harpazo, the call of the dinner bell, unites my wedding party. Put on your wedding garments. Summer is near. First comes rain, then comes war, then the missing, darkness, chaos, and destruction. 
Judges 3.12. And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord strengthened Eglon, king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Second John 1 John 1.9. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. John, uh, Jude 1 5. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. 1 Corinthians 1 7. So that you come short and no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 83 5. For they have consulted together with one consent. They form a confederacy against you. Proverbs 16.3 Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Then I heard Stephen Acts of the Apostles. And then he gave me Acts 6.5. And the same pleased the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, and Philip, Prochorus, Pro Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte from Antioch. Hebrews 6.11 And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Hebrews 3.5 And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which would be spoken afterward. John 2.5 His mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Ezra 1 4 and whoever is left in any place where he dwells let the men of his place help him with silver and gold with goods and livestock besides the free will offerings for the house of God which is in Jerusalem Daniel 1 6 now from among those of the sons of Judah were Daniel Hananiah, Mishael and Azirah Lamentations 3 5 he has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and woe Jeremiah 1 12 then the Lord said to me you have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Then he gave me Esther 6.3. Then the king said, What honor or dignity has been destroyed on Mordecai for this? And the king's servants who attended him said, Nothing has done for him. Malachi 5.3-9. And I will come near you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against sorcerers, against adulterers, against perjurers, against those who exploit wage earners and widows and orphans, and against those who turn away an alien, which is a stranger, because they do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Yet from the days of your fathers you have gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings, you are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Leviticus 1.8 Then the priest Aaron's son shall lay the parts of the head and the fat in order on the wood that is on the fire upon the altar. I'm guessing that has to do with Passover. Um, so anyway, some of those verses may go with part one, because I think he mentioned Purim and Passover in part one. Um, but yeah, so that was a lot, and I wasn't in front of my Bible, and I was about to go to bed, and I'm being obedient. So, um, if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your life, you know, repent from your sins as a change of mind, you know, not believing in him, just believe in him, put your faith and trust in him. And he will save you guys. He doesn't want anyone to perish. Um, but I'm excited. You know, I feel like he's revealing so much right now. That time is so short. And um, I don't know what he means by some of the things he says. But like I said, we prophesy in part. And he gives other people different parts. Which is why I try not to listen to other prophecies. Just so I don't get confused. Um, and then it's all going to come together. So... The Lord always puts people in my path to make it come together. He's awesome. And he always verifies things through the message of the day, too. What can I say? Jesus is amazing. And you should know him. Okay, guys. Have a blessed night and sweet dreams.